Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the SourceFed Podcast. I am Matt Lieberman. Join me today, of course, uh, Brie Estrick is back. Hi. Hi. Uh, Sam's here. Hello. And Will's here. I'm thinking about getting an iPhone 6 Plus. Really? What? Yeah. No. Oh, well, yeah. before we get into that scintillating conversation, <laughs> let's thank our today's sponsor real quick, Squarespace.com. Squarespace makes it really easy to build a website with their intuitive and easy-to-use tools. You can create a website that looks professionally designed regardless of your skill level. There's no coding required. I had a Squarespace site before I stopped working on it because I was lazy, but you don't have to be. <laughs> I spent two hours working on it. If you had spent maybe an extra hour, you would finish your website. It's legitimately and really simple. It's, it's really, really, yeah. simple. It's really simple. simple. I did it last week, WilliamHaines.net, and oh, it really is. Yeah. Like, that was this week. Yeah, I don't know. Mind. That time flies when you're having fun, and it's fun <laughs> building Squarespace for $8 a month, and you also receive a free domain name when you pay for a year of service, okay? Mm. So start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash sourcefed. Use the offer code sourcefed to get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace, you should. You, you should. should. William Haynes did. Oh, I did. Mm-hmm. Oh, I it's DVG.com did. DVG.com did. Oh, did. Wait for Sam Basher finds things.com. <laughs> <laughs> I go through my house and I find things. Okay. And I okay. Catalog okay. it. Do you, <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that show, the Lilo and Stitch show that came out after this? I yeah. Know. Okay. It was awesome with all the cousins. So how it goes is Stitch has all these cousins and they make they're different creatures that they do all different, have different things. Different powers. Some of them spit water. Some of them spit fire. There was one. <laughs> Only spitting though. Yeah. It's kind of like we were talking about like okay like some like there was one that will find anything for you. I thought that was the coolest that thing. That was yeah. really useful. It could just find Can you things. you imagine that? Yeah, anything. You'd be like, oh, phone's gone. And he would just be like, oh, it's right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah he would find it. it was in your well, back he, pocket, He dummy. had like a nose and he would go find it. But oh, that so he'd would sniff be, it out. He would sniff it out. That would be the best Pokemon, mm -hmm. the best. That's the best thing. You know when blood, like bloodhounds can do that, but they only do it with like foxes and other animals and shit. But you wanted to do like find my keys. Yeah. Like, yeah, find the I perfect recipe. I need much recipe. more simpler. Mm -hmm. I need much, I need find can my I ask keys. a dumb question? Yeah. Why do you think the bloodhound gang called themselves the bloodhound gang? What's the bloodhound gang? They were the, the, the group that did the... Uh, Look, you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, but let's do it like we do it on Discovery Channel. Brought to you by no Discovery. way. Yeah. yeah. That's a song? That's, yeah, you don't yeah, know that song? That I know, song I never heard that. Oh, my God. That's the dirtiest song yeah. I listened to as a you kid. And me, sweat, baby, baby, sweat, sweat, baby, sweat, baby, sex is a Texas, drop me in, and then do it's the things song. that only yeah. Prince would sing about. It was like a really filthy song that like middle schoolers adored when it came out. Do you guys ever tell your, your, like, your, your family, like, oh, yeah, I worked for Discovery? And there's so that my family's so proud of me because they think I work for Discovery. Oh yeah. Man, oh no. It's I work so at much Source easier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't say that. My parents. Say yeah, my <laughs> parents say that. Yeah. I, they, when I tell people what I do, I say I actually work for Discovery's Digital Network. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. My mom has told everyone in the world that she has ever met that her son works at Discovery. It sounds <laughs> cool. I, I have never met the MythBusters. I, <laughs> do, okay. Do your parents' friends ask? Oh, you guys do the shark stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, mind yep. you. They ask you about sharks. Yeah, they're like, they're like, oh, you do shark stuff, and we for do. Shark Week. Mm -hmm. We do. Yeah, they 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 love their shark shark stuff at Discovery and spread it everywhere. It, <laughs> it's yeah. like so like uh, uh uh Disney Disney bought uh Star Wars. Right. They will spend every dollar they can to, to justify their purchase Discovery of buying Star Wars. Discovery bought sharks. Uh, yeah. yeah, they bought sharks. Yeah. They will do everything. They, they sharks. trademark sharks. sharks. <laughs> every office building except ours has a giant yeah. shark or something in yeah. there. Like, so don't you dare make a video about sharks or we'll come after oh, you. Oh, Will, we own sharks, all yeah. right? You want to make a, a shark finds things video? <laughs> Your shark better not find shit. <laughs> My dentist had a bunch of shark stickers to give to the kids, and I kicked him in the balls. <laughs> and I, I said him. no. I said no. This is this is Discovery. This is My digital network. Um, yeah. Some of these digital buttons. Digital is that a Robin Williams but 1970s Robin Williams button? Yes, yeah. It is. Okay. That looks like a Mork from Mork button. It is. If you ever have a boring afternoon or just you want to see something interesting, type in Robin Williams improv, and that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Really? Oh, sure. From yeah. when he's a kid or just when he's just older? From no. like that time and, and until he even, stopped. Yeah, like, even he, like when he was in his later years, he would drop in at UCB and he would what? just go off. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a horrible stories. So, like, oh, one of the oh. last. <laughs> <tell me. laughs> okay. It's true. It's true. Go ahead. So, one of the last times that Robin Williams fell off the wagon, I like he had a lot of struggles with substance abuse throughout his adult life uh, and depression because of it. He was sitting at, there's a bar next to the U UCB Theater on Franklin Avenue. It's called Birds. And he was sitting at the bar staring at a glass of whiskey. And this improviser, I don't remember who was like a friend of a coach that I had um, a while back, 
like sat down and like just started talking to him was just like you know it would be really cool if he came over to the theater and like you know perform with us like you know that would be like really funny he was like yeah yeah i think i think i will and he was like come on man drink up let's go and mm. robin williams took the shot oh. and for the next week he came to the ucb theater every night and performed blackout drunk Whoa. with them and within like a few days after that it hit the trades you know robin williams goes to rehab and this guy has to live with the fact that he he pushed robin williams just a little too far over that line and he relapsed I'm, I'm i'm just glad like you know alcoholism and a lot of things are issues uh it's some but some people do different things with them i'm glad that he took the alcohol and decided to perform with it that's where he put his energy. I think that's pretty beautiful. Uh, but, you know. I get what you're trying to say. Yeah. But it's still yeah. the same I time. I mean, he didn't yeah. hit anybody. <laughs> no, <Yeah>. it's, <laughs> it's best, you know, at least he's creating and not doing something mm. more destructive. Yeah. But what he's doing destructive is to himself. Oh, well, yeah. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say he was notorious for stealing people's jokes. Well, that I heard going he to bought shows. people's jokes. I heard, but, yeah. Bought. If you buy, oh, yeah. If you, if somebody want to buy one of my jokes from me, hell yeah, I'll sell it to you. If Robin Williams bought your joke <laughs> and you, like, told your mom and dad, look at Go that. It's no, the biggest he, compliment. Yeah. He was also notorious for stealing jokes, but I don't think it was ever on purpose because he never wrote any sets. He would just improvise. Yeah. He did what he No way. He, yeah, he would yeah. just improvise all of his sets. Well, Sinbad does the same thing. Sinbad doesn't write any I miss jokes. Sinbad so much. He's still performing. Still this there. is his last year doing comedy, really? and then he's going to retire and do just music. Oh, that's he, he said it on a podcast. But um, no, Robin Williams would absorb jokes that he heard at comedy clubs and it would just find they would find their way into his act. I think because the reason why he's such a good performer is because he doesn't he didn't he didn't he it's not that he didn't care but he was just he was living it. Mm -hmm. And when you're living that and you're not taking the time to think, "Oh, am I, you know, mm -hmm. taking this from there or there?" Well, you're taking it from everywhere. And that's why he can let out all these beautiful images and characters. But sometimes you heard it last week. One of the coolest yeah. things uh, was it was after he passed, but David Letterman like did a thing about him on the show, and he talked about how at the Comedy Store where they all like started mm -hmm. like David Letterman, Rob Williams, a bunch of other people. Before Rob Williams was there, it was David Letterman and a bunch of other popular comedians that I can't think of right now. But when Robin showed up, they kind of like made fun of him because he was, was very young and like they didn't think he was gonna be very good. He went up on the stage and he completely killed it. And mm -hmm. after that, he was like, I hated him for a little bit for like at least like, two years. Yeah, he hated him because like like a lot of people on the scene hated him because he was getting all these opportunities yeah. he just he blew them all away they no one could do what he did no mm -mm. and still to this day i don't yeah. i don't know if we'll ever have a performer like him again mm. well, i would love to see to him. go from that to to roles like in one hour photo mm -hmm. he was so diverse and everything like he had so much range mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. crazy he was extremely funny and also extremely serious yeah i yeah. like his dramatic i wish he did mm -hmm. more dramatic roles like later in his yeah. career but you know whatever yeah what's the you guys seen august rush yeah, I love that movie. Wait, okay, the one with the kid the with the guitar. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that was a rough movie. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do a movie where the kid just goes like this. With the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and like, that's it. But yeah, he was really good in that movie too. Yeah, and he did serious. Have you ever seen World's Greatest Dad? Yeah. Oh, that that's movie a messed up. Movie. That's a Pretty messed dark. up. Yeah. Someone said like it's one of his best, like because it's because it catches you so off guard. Mm -hmm. I did not have fun watching that. Oh, movie. Neither yeah. did I. Who's our next Robin Williams? Who's our next Robin? We Williams? Don't have We've him. We've seen him. Well, it won't be our next Robin Williams. But who do you think? Do you think anybody that you've seen is going to be a legend? Like not or off even now? like Jim Carrey, like another person who like you know came up doing improv and physical bits and just being out there and present. I think we have two pretty good contenders: uh, John Early and Kate Berlant. I don't I know, know who those people are. Incredible stand-ups. I know stand Kate Berlant by name, and I've definitely seen her in some stuff, but I don't know. There's, and Irwin. they're both like super observational mm -hmm. comedians. You know, you know what so we good. need? We need shows like in Living Color. What you know those kind of shows? Oh, yeah. Yeah, these improv shows and whatnot. Well, that's what like you, we get people like Jim Carrey from. Well, that was a James sketch Carey. show. Yeah, that Who's was a, James. Oh, that's what his name was mm -hmm. on the credits. Yeah. Huh? yeah, that was that was a sketch show. The Wayans uh, brothers put that together. They tried to reboot. In Living Color, like a year ago, and Jamie Foxx tried to launch a sketch <gasps> show on Fox, and that didn't go. The Lonely Island is doing a new sketch show. Mm. There's a new sketch series on Netflix that just got picked up. Right, yeah, with Kate Berlant and yeah. John Early. There's a new yeah. sketch channel on YouTube, Nuclear <laughs> Family. <laughs> Nuclear Family. <laughs> and, uh, wow. I've heard about that. Yeah. Um, no, that new nice show plug. on Netflix looks super. It looks cool. really good. It's like they they have eight half hour episodes. Each one they gave a half hour to a, a sketch comedian or improviser and let them use it however they want it mm -hmm. like almost like a mini louis deal and they yeah. just they do characters it's the just whole cool. episode but there's so many attempts at that like at a, another snl another in living color another whatever mm -hmm. they just 
fail so fast. They try to get celebrities that are like, eh, B or C list sometimes. Yeah. And but then they come on, they do an okay job, but then the show lasts thirteen it's, episodes I, tops. I don't think uh I don't think people or like Americans, I don't think we really want to watch that kind of thing anymore. Thinking things with a live audience. We've hmm. kind of gotten away with that. The sitcom as I've been saying is dying. People don't it's it, kind of dead. It tells you how to feel. Mm. Like if you watch an episode of Big Bang Theory or sure. whatever, it's like it's like all right, now you laugh, all right, now you clap, now you cry, and I don't think people want to be told what to do anymore. No, and and in regards to your question of like, will there ever be another Robin Williams or Jim Carrey? I, I'm not sure because w- what Robin Williams did before yeah, he came to L. A. Yeah. Before he came to L. A. He spent years working on his stand up in San Francisco, years without anybody in the industry seeing him, without anyone in the public seeing him, and I feel like everybody now is so anxious to. Get to get seen that they will put stuff up on YouTube or they'll move out to LA or New York long before they're ready and they might hit it big a little too early in their development cycle. And they never, yeah, Yeah. you gotta marinate. It's like Mm -hmm. a slow cooker. I'd be interested to know how old he is in that photo because he's not a teenager. No, No. that's him like in his early 30s. Yeah, he cooked up first. Like 28 or in his 30s. All right, Mm -hmm. take a lesson from Lieberman. Cook yourself up first before you come out here, idiot. Get in that crock pot, motherfucker. Word for word, yeah. Yeah, That's exactly (laughs) what I said. I think it's interesting that you said, I didn't know he grew up, or like he, you know, like trained in like San Francisco because I was thinking about it today. I was like, if I moved back to the bay i wouldn't have as many opportunities here but the the images that i would shoot would be beautiful because everybody shoots at on fucking ventura boulevard right. yeah yeah but and i don't want to cook Santa up. monica everywhere but yeah that would be pretty cool mm-hmm. and then you come back as like a evolved form man oh please well, get thing. please come back jack come People on just want come back taller success. too <laughs> well yeah they everyone. want instant success well, instant gratification they're not willing to necessarily take the criticism that it and, and d- the development yeah. that you need well we want instant everything because yeah. everything is at our fingertips now it's like waiting waiting is the greatest crime that anyone can commit to i us. blame our overlords google yes. <laughs> they gave us everything so fast did i tell you i downloaded the amazon app on my phone this week <laughs> you have problem yeah <laughs> ruin my life i have no money like uh, the amazon i bought it's so easy like i bought shit and now it's at my house oh i have a bad story oh i have a bad story please um, what you do uh, okay so i uh instant buy is a really big problem okay mm. so i have a yeah. rosetta stone was given to me oh. as a gift a while ago and you always keep the profile all you got to do is go update the subscription and you can pay for it rosetta mm. stone's a company where you can learn another language yeah. very easily very easily it's very intuitive very smart and you can learn it fast anyways i was going to pick up french because the end of the year i want to go to france real bad so i went to go Just renew that, yeah mm. i wanted to renew the service and <laughs> <Must> I, <see. laughs> I clicked on a year's worth of service, supposed to be eight dollars a month. It's nine hundred. It's ninety nine dollars for a whole year. Eight dollars a month. Super simple. Clicked it. Shopping cart failed, and it was like, oh, server went down. Go ahead and try again. Try it again. Server went down. Ah, uh, guys, I gotta go again. Try it again. Try it again. Oh Try it again. no. And finally, it went through. I was like, okay, your service is good. And all of a sudden, I have notifications. I get emails every time I charge anything to my card, and it was like ninety nine dollars. I was like, oh cool. And then it came through again, and I was like, oh no no no, oh no no no, I spent. Four hundred dollars no! on Rosetta Stone, oh, and only on years worth of service. It would only work from when now until this time next year, and it wouldn't carry over to the next year. I couldn't do anything about. It. I called them; they're gonna refund me totally. But all that money is in the wind right now yeah. until it comes back. Isn't until that weird? it takes ten days for that money mm-hmm. to come back. It took. Five seconds for it to mm-hmm. disappear. Mm-hmm. Back in the olden days, all your money you could see. You were like, oh, <laughs> yeah, this is all. You of mean it. Yeah. 400 now like, years ago? Yeah. Unless you're a drug dealer or a sugar baby, in which yeah. case it's probably in your stilettos. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> but also, it was like you could trade your money for gold. You could like mm-hmm. hold exactly what all your money was worth. You can literally feel the weight. Yeah. About, but now I, you might owe people money over there and then New York and all that. Now you can have negative money. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a debt. It's, it's called debt. It's, it's called, called debt. debt. Oh, you yeah. always could have negative money. I wouldn't have clicked that more than twice. I would have already gotten bored and been like, oh, I'm going to do something else and forget yeah, about this. You for though. <laughs> <laughs> that's Will. <laughs> that's a normal I was just like, eh, I guess it keeps failing. Again? again. Keep trying. I would What's... have been charged 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah. What's the dumbest thing you've ever purchased? Get... Purchased. Come on. Ooh, yeah, that's what? Such a... Oh, I know. Yeah, you know. Go for it. Everybody's uh, got it. Of any exercise equipment. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. When I when I first graduated from high school and I got my first like real job. Yeah. I was a receptionist and I was making twelve dollars an hour, which was like yeah. crazy at the yeah. time. I was like, this is sick. And I bought one of those mini stair steppers for my bedroom. I was uh, like, I'm gonna do this at my desk at work. Didn't leave my bedroom. Used it once. Mm-hmm. But it was like a hundred bucks. 
Yeah. Dumb. Yeah. Bought a mini trampoline. Used it twice. Dumb. Didn't it end up here? I actually brought it to the <laughs> office because I'm like, no one's going to use it. And we destroyed it, probably. <laughs> yeah, you guys like, ripped it immediately. <laughs> we, yeah. Oh, a new toy? <laughs> I was walking through here earlier today, and I was like kicking a ball, and I was like, what the fuck kind of place do I work at? There, <laughs> there are balls to- everywhere. There are toys on the ground. There are toys <laughs> That's everywhere. Ball. Yeah. I love it, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. My sister, my, I have an older sister, and she... Did that with Ed. she bought so many weird exercise equipment things like, and like what like no like like things like ab workout like machines mm-hmm. or like the my like dad. they're like Such easy personal gyms. massagers mm-hmm. oh, shut the fuck up <laughs> that's my sister <laughs> 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 but like that's weird totally like lifting things and like <laughs> now <laughs> Lieberman <laughs> 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 anyways it's, I had to help her have a personal it's, massager it's, yeah there's, it's there's no way she's no a parent don't ever buy any any exercise thing unless it's like a yoga mat or something to like do it on. All you need is your body weight to work mm-hmm. out. With. Sure, That's it. I've been learning that from <laughs> Sam. It's like I I see Sam at the gym. He Matt. he gets up there. He gets there and does sit ups. I like machines. If I see a machine, I'm going to use it. I don't care if it's not even doing anything. I just like being on a machine. But in order to really work out, you don't need anything but what's no. on your body. Mm-mm. Yeah. If you want, like, super definition to be, like, a fucking Hulk and you can't move through doorways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, get weights. <laughs> yeah. You can get weights. Yeah, weights you are get always a weights. good idea. Yeah. Yeah. But those dumb machines, like the ab roller, mm-hmm. you don't need that shit. Mm-mm. I don't know what it... Okay, though. there's one machine at the gym where, like, you do a sit-up, but you go back and grab a ball, and then you throw the ball through a hoop, and it comes back down a ramp... Yes. And you have to grab it on the way back down to your sit up and then you throw it again. I'm like, well, why? You just want to play it's, basketball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it makes it into a game and B, it, it offers more tension to your to your abs because it's more just weight. weight. And it's so just, it's weight. just a medicine. Just start ball. fucking. All right. Yep, there just you start go. fucking. <laughs> Start That's fucking sit up style. Yeah. I would like to see the instructional go. video on that. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that what the That's a good idea. Is? I have a question. No, it's oh. not the <laughs> have, you guys seen, have you guys seen those couple workout videos? Yes, no. like couples yoga what do you and think? shit. Yeah, what yes. do you think? I'm so curious. I think that is that will bring you two together, but that you are <laughs> wasting your time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? It's just like there there's there like things like couples yoga. It's beautiful. Like they'll be like on each other and they'll like do this and then the other one's doing some other shit, but like mm. they like use each other to like lift each other up and Y'all do are just specific being cute. moves mm-hmm. and it's actually super cute my favorite thing is the mommy baby yoga yeah. that they do where like the kids like will get on the mom's body and like do a yoga pose while the mom is like using them as weight mm. basically <laughs> babies don't need to stretch nothing out you I haven't know. grown yet they're it's like noodles so cute mm-hmm. though I, oh, okay. those it's pictures adorable. are the cutest especially when like when in the, in the couples work out it's usually some girl with a fat old ass or some dude with these huge muscles like y'all are just being hot on Facebook, and it got a million shares. That's what happened. Pretty mm-hmm. much. It's like it's like one of them will be holding their feet while they do a sit up, and then they'll kiss at the top of the sit up and go back down. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you, yeah. share like that. you share this on you share this on your profile to, to let your significant other know that they're not doing good enough for exactly. you. Exactly. It's shit where I'm like, this is disgusting. This is so dumb. And then I'm like, oh man, I wish I wish I had somebody I to do that me. with me. Yeah. yeah. Denise and I have started doing a morning workout routine. Hell Yay. yeah. Good for you. Yeah. But y'all have been together for a while, so this yeah. isn't about appearances. This is y'all no. improvement. Yeah, well, it's just sort of like we got like real lazy towards the end of the year. We got into like a real donut kick. Like we got obsessed with donuts. Mm. Like we started trying different places and we found what may be the best donut place in Los Angeles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once I moved to LA, the valley, I was like, <laughs> oh my God, there are donut stores everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so why does yeah. everybody say that when they come to the, that's like, I it's not a here. thing. And it's not it's a no, thing? It, uh-uh. it, no. It, on the East Coast, it's Dunkin' Donuts or nothing. There are no donut mm-hmm. shops. Okay, so that's so weird because everyone's like, oh, so many shopping carts everywhere. Oh, mm-hmm. there's so many yeah. donut shops. And I was like, is this what's blowing you away? Yeah. Like, I mean, this is LA. They make move. There's porn being made right down mm-hmm. the street if we're in the valley. No, I feel like uh, yeah. they make porn everywhere. How this many is times? Yeah. <laughs> how many times have I been in the car with one of my LA friends? And you're like, oh, that's where they shot Back to the Future. There, there, there. Ev- Back to the Future was shot everywhere, everywhere. I've ever been. <laughs> Same with Terminator. Yeah. Whenever I drive around, yeah. yeah. Every yeah, time yeah. you pass by the LA River, they're like, yeah, actually, that's where. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Every you know? freeway overpass that I drive by, I'm like, that's where they shot the Good Son. That's where that mannequin fell. The Good fell. Son? That's I where you go to? <laughs> 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 I, I do think about that every time I pass an over oh, it, or I pass by the overpass and I look up and there's a person like looking down. I'm oh, like, really? they're going to jump. In oh, the no. good sun. It, th- it's a Macaulay Culkin movie. If you guys haven't seen it with who's Elijah, the Wood. Elijah Wood and uh, Elijah Wood's like adopted. 
No, his his mom dies, so he goes to live with his aunt and uncle. There you go. Okay. Son. Macaulay Culkin's super evil, and they throw like a mannequin off of an overpass and oh. creates a giant car accident. It's yeah. such a what? that movie is so good. Okay, it's so good. it you know, messed with me as a kid. We, though. You know, we were <laughs> talking. The mom about. has to make a Sophie's choice at the end. It's like really. <gasps> oh It's yeah. so messed up. What? The two kids are dangling off a cliff, and she has to choose between her nephew and her awful son. It's amazing. And. What happened just before was Macaulay Culkin tried to push her off the cliff, oh, so the decision was slightly no, easier. I picked my nephew. About this. Yeah. I picked my nephew because then you don't have to worry about your brother and sister being mad at you. Like, oh, you dropped my kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why would you drop? <laughs> my- if you yeah. don't even like your kid, let's be honest. You should have that option. Some people you go to, like you, you're, you're going, you're in, your, you're in your chopping car, and you hear people arguing with their kids. You should have the option to be like, oh shit, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. I'm giving it back to the government. <laughs> so many people would love to have your seven year old child. Because it's not getting better. At I that would point. argue that there are a lot of people who don't get adopted, <laughs> especially when they're that old. <laughs> And that that's are the, really that good, doesn't, nice that's kids. Because yeah, it doesn't our, work out that way. That's because our country has put a stigma on seven year olds. They're the worst at that age. <laughs> Cultivate them. There you go. Actually, it's two. Two is the worst age ever. Do you think so? Everybody yeah, says don't say that. Anything Isn't to you. every age the worst age Except ever? Except for though? one. No, once you hit like, I honestly think once you hit like 20, I think after oh, that. <laughs> yeah, you're not from raising my them pers- anymore. From my perspective, <laughs> yeah. yeah from my, I feel like after I turn 20, I stopped being a nu- uh, as much of a nuisance to my parents. But when you're seven, you've been watching your parents for seven years. You know what'll hurt them. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You, right. cre- you Damien so right. creep. No, I'm, I'm just saying I know how a seven-year-old thinks. And seven-year-olds say fucked up shit. They're what? so evil. Because they know no one's going to beat them up. <laughs> you know how a seven-year-old thinks. You'd be a good preschool teacher. Yeah. Like, don't try to outsmart me. I know. I was don't there many years that. ago. No one pushed anybody. Go sit down. No, then yeah. his seven-year-old students are going to find his old videos and be like, ha Oh, my God. Yeah, that's on there forever. I was thinking about it recently. When I die, just make them all public. Because I privated a bunch of them. When I'm dead and I can't be a embarrassed about it put them all out there hmm. somebody knows my password mm-hmm. is Darren. that what you really want and yeah like, you want it on your tombstone just looping through old people be oh like my episodes? god yeah just a little screen however big the iphone is at the time when i die make it that big and like you know when you guys miss well, me just go through my catalog the size of mm-hmm. a tombstone it will be a tombstone <laughs> i hope when oh, i go everyone signal. has like the decency to delete everything i've ever done oh just that's, erase no. me that's pretend not gonna they never happen. happen no happen. as an artist when you die all your shit gets way better i know mm-hmm. oh Oh my god, even crappy ass paintings, they're like, well, he's dead and now it's a million dollars. Why do people respect the dead more than the living? Uh, you know. Because it's, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Yeah, it's never going to get any better than that. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Or, well, in the case of, like, say, like Van Gogh, who people hated his work for his entire life while they he was did? alive, yeah. they probably just felt bad. They were like, Oh man, like we yeah. probably drove this dude to die. Like <laughs> he to, cut his to own an ear off grave because, because of us. We, we call Jesus. him Vincent Van Gogh, but I feel like we're saying it wrong. Oh, it's Van Gogh. I think so. I've heard British mm. people say that. I haven't heard they French people say that. They said that on the Doctor Who episode. That's the only reason yeah. I know. <laughs> British people, y'all say so much stuff wrong. I know you guys started with the language, but out here in America, we've cultivated this shit. <laughs> oh. I have to turn around. Yeah, <laughs> I learned that one from that. Darren. You can't keep a straight face. <laughs> It's a good one. Too good. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what about you guys? Do you want to be remembered when you're dead? Do I want to be that's remembered? That's all I focus on. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why are you that thinking about like, the end? I don't know, because that's the best part. I think the about end? that a lot, yeah. too. The that was like my I, biggest fear. You know the kid. end. I know the end. You don't no, know the not end. No, not dying. Best. I've had this lifelong issue that I can't finish things. Like, I have notebooks full of drawings. I've n- So many of them are not finished. Mm-hmm. Like, when I'm writing videos, the hardest part for me is finishing it. I, I think that's why like, I always think about, but what happens when I die? Because it's the end. Hmm. It's just something that I go through in Internally. Well, yeah. I, I think that, you know, as creators, as people making things, you have a legacy. Like, your legacy is your content. It's whatever mm-hmm. you made while you were alive. Even if you didn't get to touch a, a ton of people personally, there's still something that lingers that maybe helped people or offended people or excited people or inspired people. Some people just want to offend people. Some, Some people, people just want to inspire. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, when I was a kid, I w- the thing I was most afraid of was dying and no one remembering me like really? legitimately being forgotten yeah because i i was just i was a very quiet kid nobody liked me i didn't really get any attention at home 
And that was just, I was just afraid that I would never matter. And like over time, even before YouTube, like just finally making a good core group of friends and feeling like I have a family out here, mm -hmm. kind of solved that problem. Like I know that at the very least there are people who will be very sad when I'm gone that don't have to be because they're not related to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You that's know? actually a really good feeling when you you brought. That's what I've learned. I've I've learned actually this this like past couple of days. Friendship is just as good as family. If you you can take it to that, it doesn't matter sure. who your family is. Doesn't matter how small they are. You know you still love them. Yeah. And, and knowing that someone someone will be crying at your funeral, bawling. That's a good feeling. It is a good feeling, but at the same it's time, it's a good feeling. It's, I don't. It's weird to say, but yeah. I don't want I anyone it. talking at my funeral. Like I don't oh. want any speeches. I don't want anyone fucking coughing or sneezing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You don't want. I'm trying to be dead over here. <laughs> okay, can I just say? How can you put such that such a horrible rule? thing. Can I just say? I was at okay. I was at a funeral a couple of weeks ago. God bless her. I miss her. She was a wonderful lady. Yeah. But. In like the saddest moment, I was bawling, mm -hmm. and this old fucking guy had oh. a coughing fit over to the right, and I was like, "Is it bad that I want to just go over there and fucking strangle him? Yeah. Like this is so rude." Like, dude, yeah. I'm trying to mourn. Yeah, I'm trying to mourn. We're all trying to cry over here, and you're fucking coughing. He's over here having a cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. Help himself. <laughs> but there were okay. That's a like that. Left, right, cough, sneeze. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. At my funeral, you know I want my funeral to be a roast. I'm, I'm telling oh, yeah. you, I know it's hard to get up there and read oh something over my dead I body. Was, oh my god, if they yeah. if they stuff your body and put you in a chair with sunglasses <laughs> on, like weekend at Bernie's, yeah. and you're like, and they kind of like make you yeah. move a little, like I want they the, roast you. I want the same suit Justin Bieber was wearing in his roast and the monkey. Get a monkey and me in one of those blue suits and roast me. And you just sit there. Mm -hmm. like, I want to like roast you now. I want to host the Source fed roast okay. of William Hayes. Put me in a coma and a and a, a, a real induced coma and just <laughs> like heavy. Go like for it. heavy. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to take it if you were alive. I could take it, but I respond, you know. <laughs> so you know that's the issue. Uh -huh. Well you get to respond at the end. Oh, that's how they do it. Huh? Yeah. You get to you listen to all of it, you take it, you mm -hmm. take it, you take it, and then mm -hmm. you get to dish it out at the very end. Mm -hmm. In tears. Like, uh, <laughs> but you yeah. don't get a notepad up there. You can't be taking notes. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that's what my phone is for. Roasts are important. I think like that's something we do for celebrities. Celebrities, but everybody needs. All oh, right, you know how like you ever seen Hiring Your Mother? They, they did interventions. Yeah, that's just a roast. I think in friend groups you need to be like, all right, Sam's been fucking up. He needs to same. get roasted. <laughs> really? Hell yeah! Like I come home, it's a hard day. It's like, like here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Sam, ooh, them shirts. <laughs> them shirts. Let's talk about it. The Flash. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. A short intervention. Yeah. That's Not a that very effective. Yeah. You <laughs> like guys want to go to islands? For I think I'm gonna stay with my shirts. I like them. Oh. oh okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Somebody. I, couldn't, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't do a roast. Couldn't do a roast. No. Mm -hmm. no. So yeah, not everybody needs a roast. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind. If I came home and you guys were roasting me, I wouldn't trip. Okay. But that's you. Though. I think yeah. I could take it for like, uh, I could do like three people and then like after mm. that I would be pretty broken yeah. as a person oh. I'd be numb to everything that anyone said to me but after that we already get roasted every single day in comments true. Yeah. Like, true. Like, true. Who's nothing you can say is new or surprising exactly. yeah. 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 And I just don't want to hear it come from people I'm closest to I don't care if strangers are saying right. anything mm -hmm. to me just like yeah. people that I love and care about just like lie to me all the time and pretend that I'm amazing <laughs> please <laughs> Because every day is like a fucking punch in the goddamn face. That, right. that world that I mean? you would like, you, that's the world. Like, yeah, if just where they lie. If everybody, <laughs> I mean, I understand. Like, like, uh, like, Not I like, important I like the yeah. like. I'm fine with everybody being mean. You're the opposite. You were like, okay, if everybody was on their best behavior, you would be able to think your best. If for my life, I'm like, if everybody was just like, all right, now, Will, you've been fucking up with this. I feel, I feel like I've already trained my life into that. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know, I need criticism. I no, already everybody. do it but in my but head. But from my that's loved the ones, thing, only my loved ones. People don't understand though about like where that shit comes from. When I, when I just want everyone to like do their best and be their best. Well, it's because inside I am so mean to myself, mm -hmm. like so, like genuinely fucking abusive. Yeah. To a point where I'm like, if anyone says anything. Thing, I'm like, I already fucking know, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. don't. Yeah. I get it. Well, mm -hmm. see, I'm kind of there too. Maybe I wouldn't call it abusive, but like, I have probably a harsher opinion of myself than anybody does. Like, anything yeah. that I've ever seen in a comment or someone said to me, I've get dealt it to myself. Oh, for sure. Worse. Mm -hmm. But like, that's why I would love a roast because then I would have confirmation that it's not nearly as bad as I think. Like, yeah. I am convinced that I'm a terrible friend. Yeah. I'm convinced that I'm a terrible friend because I'm busy. Most people are yeah. the meanest to themselves. Yeah. yeah. You can't hurt 
um, Lieberman because Lieberman already knows. Yeah. Yeah, I already know. We yeah. already know. We yeah. always know. Like That's we why always... it's like when some people are like, I'm too afraid to do YouTube because of commenters. Like, dude, just think about what you put yourself through on a daily mm -hmm. basis. Yeah. Like, you are your worst, uh, your mm -hmm. own worst enemy, whatever the fucking <laughs> thing on every uh, Tumblr post ever. Mm -hmm. uh, that You've already put yourself <laughs> through it. Don't there worry. was a comment <laughs> on the one of the last podcasts that says Lieberman looking thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Oh yeah, I remember that was that. one of my <laughs> favorites I'm not that I've lie. ever <laughs> read. I laughed so hard I couldn't help myself. I showed it. I showed it to my girlfriend. That's I showed so it to my funny. friends. I was just, so, it was just so oh, funny. God. Can I? My favorite comment <laughs> that I have ever gotten of all time. It was yeah. like in 2010. Oh my god. It was like this Brie girl looks like Kelly Ripa struggling to find her identity. Oh. And I was like, that is so funny and true and amazing and I love it so much. And this is just, I don't know if you guys are cool with this. This is a personal thing. Yeah. Do you want to share your biggest like insecurity, not insecurity with yourself, but like what type of comment makes you genuinely hurt? Uh, are, we, are we cool to share? I, I mean, I'm cool to share mine. I don't I'm know about cool you guys. Share. No, don't tell us, Bree. No, don't, don't tell them. Tell them. Yeah, Bri, don't, don't tell them. They're don't, just going to fire at you for the rest of your it. life. Because then once you say it, they'll evolve it. Don't don't put it past all the yeah. people that watch it. You know how it. like a virus, like you come up with a vaccine and then it develops a new strain? That's what you're doing. You're developing a, 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 we a know strain how you that's monsters resistant. Work. I'll tell you, compliment my pants, all right? <laughs> hey, compliment, compliment my, my pants. pants. Look at this. Sam's got some dope-ass pants. Sam's got pants. some dope-ass pants. <laughs> my what? family's new thing is every time I come home, because they didn't see me, and like I didn't start wearing skinny jeans until I was probably in college, like one of the first two semesters. <laughs> so now every time I come home, they're <laughs> why like, was that worth why was that worth the high Five, because <laughs> uh, he wears skinny jeans too. But uh, now every time I come home, my parents are like, "You're so skinny. Your legs are so skinny." I'm like, no, they've always been. But I used to wear these goddamn hood pants. Yep, <laughs> goddamn hood pants. I was always wearing sweatpants in high school. All right. Ooh. Oh no. Between oh. the ages of seven and eleven, I wore exclusively sweatsuits. <laughs> Exclusively, wait, like suits. A, like the no, like no the sweatsuits, kid like tenon bombs. Yeah, wait. like like a like sweatpants and a sweatshirt, of course. no hood, uh -huh. but just like every like Adidas. Day. Yeah, like Ari yeah. and Uzi. Yeah, the best thing that ever no, happened to me. No, that's like that's like a tracksuit. No, he's got a, a, a like a crew neck sweatshirt. Yeah, crew neck yeah. sweatshirt and mm -hmm. like matching sweatpants every day. I, I they got, were and Juicy Couture with the sweet on the ass. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I've been wearing. Uh, I bought some joggers for a joke and a video here, and you love them now. Love them. And then I also Sam gave me his old workout shoes that glow in the dark oh fun when i have those mm -hmm. two things on plus my adidas jacket i am so comfortable yeah dude. like this shit is terrible <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> is they it are is. It yeah. is. okay look how all right i know they're fucking nerdy but i got some fucking converts <laughs> on the table and they got flash on them dope as hell don't care what those you guys say pretty cool mm -hmm. And they got red laces, but so, they're converse. They're so, so fucking uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay, then no. what is your ultimate power <laughs> outfit? Like, what that do you one. wear? Oh man! So oh, you mean the opposite? That's what my What do you comfort. wear to make to make yourself feel powerful, most comfortable, the most artistic, creative? My whatever. red suit. Your uh, red suit. That's I knew it. Iron Man. Lieberman yeah. is my favorite. I Dude, love your red suit. I love 48. it too. <laughs> no, I was. I was. Uh, so I went to my grandfather's funeral and no. uh, over recipes. over over Christmas break. Where's the recipes? Um, uh, but I I went and my my I have one blue suit and I have my red suit. My blue suit is cheap as fuck, <laughs> and I didn't realize it when I packed it. But it was nearly it was getting ready. Like the seam in the back was getting ready to split. <laughs> it was going and, out. But like that's the thing is like I didn't have a suit that actually fit me, and I couldn't wear my red suit oh, to a no. funeral. No. So I wore it, and you I, could. You shouldn't cough or I, sneeze to draw attention. To you gotta sit in the back. You can yeah. wear it, but no, you gotta you, sit in the you back. You cannot. Not with my parents. <laughs> they would never. My father would never let me forget yeah. for, forget that. Um, but no, the the seam in the back nearly ripped in the middle of the funeral. And so I like pulled the suit jacket down like a little further and I just kind of shuffled off to the car and we had to like stop off at my parents' place before we went to the uh, to sit Shiva because I needed to change pants because they were going to split these, open. These Oops. kind of things happen all the time and you'll never know what happened to your family members. You'd be like, oh, so why are you guys late to the, you know, the second part of the funeral? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's called. The reception. It's a, the wake reception. or reception yeah. or Shiva. My pants or... were about to split. All split. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need a new suit. Yeah. So your red power suit. Red what power about you, suit. Will? Uh, I also do like my blazer. I have a 
black blazer that I bought for the uh, for the debates. You look great in that blazer. Thank you. I appreciate Wait, it. Wait, the magician yeah. one or the black blazer? They're both magician I realize. <laughs> I like them. I, I don't. Like that's a not an insult. Can it I looks. Quickly, it's got some. Can I quickly yeah, say yeah. all the men in this office are dapper as hell in their suits? Oh, thank we, you. you guys are a handsome bunch. Thank you. Just throwing that out there. We try to do our best. That's my power outfit. Okay. Yeah. What's okay. Well, you said comfort, and then you said power. But I'm gonna say same, comfort first. It could first. be the same thing. All right. For comfort, I got these brand new running shoes that are perfect for my fucking high arch. Ooh. I have like I have very f- the blue slender. Ones. Yeah, the blue ones, slender, kind of like feminine feet. They're very thin. Perfect shoes. Got some black sweatpants yeah. that are baggy. That are so fucking perfect. And then I got a nice tank top with a Superboy logo on it. Mm-hmm. And I got a nice. Pullover hoodie. Oh, Isn't that what warm. you like wear on our on our uh, marathon live stream days? Hell yeah. Yeah. They're so fucking comfy. Yeah, but girl. for power, I got a nice uh, dark gray button up shoe and mm-hmm. a nice black thin tie mm-hmm. and black yeah. slacks. Where's and he black work dress at? Shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you uh, see him, where's that guy? Men's work at? warehouse. That's where <laughs> he works. Or <laughs> gonna, the local news station. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're gonna like the way you look. I want to <laughs> hear yours, Bree. And then after that, I would like. To go around the table, which man, non host man in this office, and we can't say Darren, <laughs> is the dresses the best? Oh, non- that's a good question. It's okay. a very good question because Darren's obviously the winner. He's the winner, yeah. So we got to take him out of contention. Mm, okay. My power outfit. Yes. Sweat is sweatpants, mm-hmm. but they are. I can't wear these outside of my house because oh. I get made fun of too much. Not that I really care, but I wore them here once, and Mod gave me hell. <laughs> um, you know those drop pants that are like Aladdin wears? Oh, the basically? drop crotch? The drop crotch? Those okay, are the they're best. so ugly, but they are the most comfortable. I like bet. you could wear 10 diapers. Yeah. And, and you, and you would, would still know. No, no yeah. one would no, know you're wearing diapers. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got a lot of dick. Those, it does need to hang. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get some yeah. freaking harem yeah. pants. They're yeah. so fugs, but they're so comfy with just a gi- either a giant like rock t shirt mm-hmm. or like a giant comfy hoodie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. You that can sounds put your, like You it. can put your snacks in your hoodie. You can <laughs> sit. You can write. You can, oh, my God. You like you pockets. Can do, huh? I love mm-hmm. pockets. Oh, who doesn't like pockets? Women do not have enough pockets. I don't get that shit. If you buy a jacket and there's no pocket in it, you fuck. You yeah, fucked exactly. up. That's a you cheap jacket. Up. Mm-hmm. Really quick, I those did. those pants you I have. I like it. I have an equivalent. They're called Thai fisherman pants, like Thai, like Thailand. Oh, yeah. And they they're they're meant for sizes uh, zero to a hundred. Doesn't Sam. matter. They come huge, and you fold them in, and you tie them, and they're so baggy, and you run in them, and you feel like you're nude, and it's I great. love it. I love to feel like you can when you can feel like your body under your clothes, mm-hmm. like you can kind of swim in your clothes. Yes. A little. that makes me I feel like the that. most like myself. Yeah. I think. yeah. No, I people man being naked is is underrated. It's I was best. thinking about that too. I was yeah. like, we're supposed to be naked. Yes. Yeah. I read a study that says that you actually, if you don't sleep naked, your your body is like off regulation with its heat. Like you, you generate more heat not wearing any clothes than yeah. wearing underwear and no clothes or like a bunch of clothes. It's mm. like very interesting. Wow. Mm-hmm. I have to I look at that again. I don't. I am definitely misquoting that. The human body. <laughs> My friend Bill. He wears those drop crotch pants, mm. and I am so jealous of him because he can wear, he wears his girlfriend's clothes, and he God still looks him. good. Yeah. Like, he looks good in anything. I love to share clothes. Yeah? Whether I'm dating a man or a woman, sharing clothes is the yeah. best thing ever. Do you know yeah. when you put on somebody else's jacket and you wear it around, it's oh, like they're it hugging so you it's all like the time? Hugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, okay, yeah. we went to a bar two weeks ago, and Darren, Will, and a friend of ours was over, they dressed me. Oh, oh yeah? yeah, I looked really cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. I Sam was, like, was slammed. It was really cool until Sam saw somebody he knew, <laughs> <laughs> and it took him two hours to say, "Can we go to elementary school?" Yeah. What was the outfit? Yeah, we was oh, the outfit. Yeah. And what was like the, the story? The shirt is like kind of like those like big collared like mm-hmm. uh, kind of like. Uh, like you can see the collarbone kind of shirt. Kind of shirt. Uh, it's kind of baggier. It's not, it's not fit. It's, it's not, not fit. It's loose there. Mm. Mm. Then I had a leather jacket, some black jeans, and I borrowed Whoa. Will's boots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You actually, the boots I'm wearing right now, yeah. you're wearing those. Will's yeah. boots. Nice. So it's looking yeah. real cool. There's and something so great about a man in a good pair of boots. Yeah, we collaborated on Sam. Yeah. We I collaborated. Felt, I felt good, and then I immediately threw that out the window. But uh, <laughs> and then we got to the bar, uh, uh, I was feeling real cool, and then I noticed somebody else like, they went to elementary school with me, but that's not a weird anecdote to go and up then, to somebody at a bar and be like, "Hey, yeah, we were in the same. Uh, we went to preschool I, together, didn't we?" How I did like you how recognize them. They didn't. They had the exact same face they uh, did but, in preschool. Right. I yeah. like how we did it. So we all huddled over, so you know that one person could see over your shoulder, like they're talking. You're like, "Okay, so is that her?" So he looks over, and we're all like, "Is that her?" Now I want to take a look. So you switch. You switch. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Go say something to her. Uh-huh. Too much. 
all you have to do in every situation in life is just do it. Just but, do it. But yeah. we think too much. We get in our heads. And we're like, I went and said hi to her yeah. on the way out of the bar. <laughs> 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 and it was like, hey. And then she was like, but she had been like looking at me too. And mm. then like, you know, like, and then she played dumb for a second, but she obviously played dumb. And mm-hmm. she was like, uh, Sam. Yeah. Um, and we hugged. And I'm like, wow, you're super drunk. All right. Goodbye. Uh, I love yeah. it when people are bad at playing dumb. Yeah. <laughs> That's a skill. You need to be able to be good at being like, oh, I don't know anything. That's a skill. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't have it. Mm-hmm. I it, I can't keep secrets for jack shit. Really? That's a bad I'm skill. I'm terrible <laughs> at keeping secrets. No, because I'm c- good at that. Oh, You're an actress. No, it's just it's in my face immediately. I can't lie to people because I feel too guilty. Oh, I won't tell the secret. I might not be able to be good at hiding it, but yeah. I will not tell. My the face secret. is too obvious. Like I feel like I just like, when someone asks me something, I immediately like I, no. <laughs> that's that's yeah. something about you, Sam. Though that mm. you just instantly know, like you're a good secret keeper. I think so Me? too. Like, yeah, I <laughs> could look at you and be like, Sam's yeah. a good secret. If keeper. If I were Lily and James Potter, I'd go to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that would snake. Uh, uh, so Peter Pettigrew is a uh, bad secret keeper. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm not a good uh, can Can we answer the previous? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was yeah. the question? Yeah. The question was, which man at this office who is not uh, on camera and is not Darren? Has the flyest fashion. Owen. Mm. <laughs> Owen. My vote's Owen. My yeah. vote's Owen. My vote Owen. Is Owen. Owen is committed to being a cartoon character. He wears the same thing every, every day. Every day. As long as I've known him. As yeah. Now he has that, that green white sweater. White V-neck t-shirt. When we go he out. Going out <laughs> he has this green one or blue one. I'm going to buy Owen like seven different color sweaters and say just go for it. He's not going to wear them. That's gonna the beauty him. of Owen. Yeah, he'll <laughs> throw them out. I hate it. It That's was fun closet. back in 2014, but it's 2016 now. I love how now. fast we arrived at this answer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hi, Owen. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Show him. Show him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Show him your fanciness. It is an audio podcast. Show him. <laughs> it's an audio <laughs> podcast. Show him your fanciness. I have a vote. My vote goes to... Living uh, Cartoon. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. like Spencer's outfit. Spencer like, has some fashion. And I like he Luis's. Does have some style. Luis like, also has fashion. Oh, I'm also going to throw in a little Zach Taylor. I no, agree. No, I was no, thinking no. that today. No. He's got his vintage kicks, mm-hmm. vintage and he usually kicks. has vintage style sweaters that yeah. are not actually vintage. And I don't know if you've seen that picture of him holding a Coca-Cola that was subsequently photoshopped by Star, but he looks <laughs> very, very fashionable. True. I'd give it to him. What is fashion even? Did I, I, I always think about this. <laughs> I don't know, Kanye <laughs> West. <laughs> tell us. All right. Well, fashion. But, you know, uh, we went to New York a couple times last year for, like, yeah, whatever. For the what, shorties and uh, in Source the, Fed Live. The discovery oh, thing oh, you where did I the, said uh, I was going to shoot fronts? everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh put all God. these businessmen. For some reason, <laughs> for some imagine, reason, they didn't go over well. Yeah. Imagine yeah. a sales conference where we are there to get people to give us money to make these videos. And, like, the first thing you came out and said was, like, I have a gun? Yeah, I got oh a gun. Oh my god. I didn't give a fuck that. You day. didn't read your audience. <laughs> yeah, I did not read my audience. And for some reason, after <laughs> after it was over, everybody was looking at me, all of our people, and they were like, what? The? I was like, I didn't care. I was like, oh. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh right, this yeah. is like thousands of dollars yeah. on the line, huh? So yeah, we didn't sell nothing. But while we were in New York, I realized I was walking down the street and like, th- when you go out of the, the the hotel you're staying in in New York, the part that we were in, you just like join the the the, the, flow. Like the ant circle, yeah, yeah, the flow, like the the flow. And as you're walking down the street, people really put their work into fashion there, because like, if you're gonna be seen by maybe hundreds of people down the street, some people are like, all right, I got a parrot on my shoulder. All right, my, my jacket's all the way co- down behind me. Like it was incredible. Yeah. Fashion is there. It's too hot in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. It's too hot. Everyone's in tank tops mm-hmm. and short shorts. Mm-hmm. And mesh sweaters. Short mm-hmm. uh-huh. mesh sweaters? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does that even work? Genie pants. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's just not very cold. It's not very warm. You mm. just Yeah. It sounds soft though. I'm gonna yeah. get my fashion game up. Watch me. Okay, I'll watch. I think mine's at its peak. <laughs> you think so? Is it really? <laughs> no, it's not. I can do better. <laughs> you know, it's crazy because it is it's so subjective. Yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. But yeah. At the same time, it's like you can tell when someone puts effort into something and when they don't. And mm-hmm. I think I think the only thing that matters is when you put effort. Like mm-hmm. that's the only thing that is sets this, you apart. Is this effort? Yes. Honestly, you yeah. were talking about yeah. your yourself. match. You went out of your way to match <sighs> your shoes matching. to your shirt. That means those shoes represent yeah. you. I you know how few men match. Day. I match my shoes to my something in my clothes every day. It's, you are telling. I your used story. to do that. Mm-hmm. I go out of my way to dress like a boy from the eighties. Sure. It's what oh. I do. Yeah, you're like J T. Taylor going on running down the street. Street. Or yes. j- or uh, John Bender from The Breakfast Club, I thank would say. Thank you with the, so much. With oh, the yeah. denim jacket. Thank you, thank you. Yes. 
picks up for guys. Mm-hmm. I was just cheap. I used to like not care about my clothes. It's just because mm-hmm. I didn't want to spend my money. I was raised into that sensibility. That's a smart way to live. Mm-hmm. I mean, Do, it is. Is it though? At the end if of the I day, if I die tomorrow, I want to have no money in my bank account to show that I true. like did everything I wanted to do with my money. Mm-hmm. True. There is a point there, but I, I get in this weird like back and forth between like I want to live for today, but I still got like another seven days until we get paid again. So yeah, I okay, can't you're like smart. I can't like, but I still do the impulsive thing and do that. Speaking of Rosetta Stone, like uh, Rosetta yeah. Stone, <laughs> do you even need that? Were you using an app and wasn't that good enough? Okay, everyone likes to use Duolingo. Okay, I don't want to go. I, I got a rant. Duolingo. That thing doesn't fucking teach you. It, it doesn't, doesn't teach you anything. No, it doesn't. Because it teaches you if you want to learn language, you don't want to learn language through your language. You want to be like, how do I say apple? That's a uh, pom in un pom in French. You don't want to think if I see an apple, I don't want to think apple oh. pom. You want to think you see an pom. apple and you think pom. I had a teacher, my first Spanish teacher, who was like an immigrant guy, kicked out, but he his, that's what he. <laughs> He said, he said yeah. something along the lines of that. Uh-huh. I loved him, though. He yeah. really was the best one. Then we got the other teacher. She wasn't as good. What's the worst teacher you ever had? Good question. <laughs> Maybe my French teacher in high school. She really? brought her boyfriend on the trip to Paris. He was a. Oh, she he drank fucked a him lot. on money. Huh? <laughs> yeah, she I fucked him on, on school, money. On school, on school, school money. money. On scholastic oh. edu yeah. money. I thought I literally <laughs> imagined he, he, she was getting <laughs> fucked <laughs> on a bed of money. <laughs> on all our money that we I spent on the even trip. I like that. <laughs> I know for sure I'm cheap. I'm not supplying the bed of money, so mm-hmm. it will be her money. I'd be like, baby, I'm so sorry. That's how you get a you get a deal from a company like Nike and you use Nike's money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But go. at the same time, you want Chris, you want new bills because you don't know where no. that money's been. You, That's some dirty at money. Least with the, the new, top layer. The new bills are going to be hard. I'm not fucking on a hard pad. That's why you put them in a dryer. There you go. You, you, you launder, launder that money. You launder that money and then you restack it, rebundle it, and then. That sounds like a lot of work for one very outrageous sexual wrong. And it's not even going to be that good. I no, it's you. not. It's going to be sticking to your back the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. going to get sweaty. Bills are going to start peeling on your back. And it's money no doesn't fun. smell good, you know? <laughs> like, you know, when a girl comes over, I like to put in a new Glade thing into my wall. Best believe when you're not there, it does not smell like that. What is it the does William not Haynes? Smell like that. What is the William Haynes routine when a girl is coming over? Oh, okay. that's great. Cool. I'll tell you. Here we go. Bow, bow, bow. That's much better than worst teacher. Yeah. Uh, first off, I hang everything up. <laughs> I hang <laughs> I'm sorry. What does, that mean? <laughs> does that mean that you have a ton of things on the floor Absolutely. for the rest of the time? Absolutely. Why I don't hang you it just all leave up? it hung up? Let, let me tell you the most genius thing I do okay. when a honey is genius. coming over. <laughs> to make her not to make her think my room always looks like this, I leave stuff in the trash. So she's like, oh yeah, it's lived in. It's lived in. You couldn't take that's out the trash before she showed up? But not a bunch, <laughs> just one or two things. That's uh. a, that's actually a really good plan, because sometimes like, when a girl has her period, and she, like, she has to change her tampon, and there's an empty trash can, oh, yeah. you don't just want to put the tampon in there. You have to have something to put over it. I'm looking out it. for women in their menstrual cycles. Yes, that's you what are. I'm doing. Why are they coming over during their menstrual cycle? Also, why are they throwing it away it in his matter. room? Some yeah. people need to be held. Yeah, that's women true. exist Regardless, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just Matt? giving him shit. I God, I can't fuck a girl on a period. No, <laughs> hey, some would argue it's even better. Yeah. It's all sloshy in there. Yeah, I don't Hey, <laughs> you guys, you got your. <laughs> Sophia's so- your face. No, not at all. No, I'm talking about a slurpee. <laughs> Sophia's <laughs> mouth is uh, hanging open so wide. She is so blown away by what Will just said. Go drink that Wingstop drink. Oh. An animal could get in there. Is, is that <laughs> wide open? Just saying, it's built in lube. Continue. It's built in lube. It's so just there. That's, that's my go to pro. Like, I hang everything, hang everything up, up and leave in trash glade, in the trash can. Put, leave a little trash in the trash can, put in a glade smelly uh-huh. thing so it smells like a, I don't know, an ocean or some shit. Mm-hmm. Do you put up your Gandhi poster? No. That's my old move. My old move. <laughs> bitches Why used was to love the, the Gandhi <laughs> Bitches love the Gandhi right. Bitches poster? get wet off that bald old man with a cracked <laughs> forehead. <laughs> They absolutely do not. It's either that or my Spider Man. Actually, I did print out today. I decided I'm finally going to put something. I haven't had anything on my walls for like a year. But today I decided I found a frame and I was like, oh, what should I put in there? And I found this image on the internet of Louis C.K. all over a stool like this. So I printed that out. So I will put that on my wall. Just that one picture? That's all I need. It's him at Live at the Beacon Theater, which is my favorite stand up comedy album. That's my focus. I want to be Louis C.K. hanging over a stool with a microphone. So, do you, I don't okay. get them wet, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to go along with this, mm-hmm. did you ever or do you have like a signature move that you do that you find yourself doing with multiple people that you've dated? I try. Um, like, do you have a signature move to like 
really get it. You know, like lock it in. Seal the deal. Seal the deal. No, oh not no. R- I hope to God. I, not. I try yeah. something different every time because like I don't have the right move yet. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta try something different. He's trying a few moves yeah. out. I mean <sighs> what kind of moves do you have? You gotta move? You well, gotta move, Bree? there's like a th- it's a thing that I used to do where it's just like, hey, you wanna go see my the roof? Oh, like that type of thing. the yeah. roof. You want to go up to the roof? I, I mean, testosterone and estrogen levels rise on and the roof. And it's like, and, yeah. and they're like, they're always like, yeah, sure. And, you know, when they go up, I already have set up like beach chairs up oh. there and like my laptop oh, with the wow. movies ready to go. There's pizza up there mm-hmm. already. Holy like, I've set shit. it up. Put yeah. a blanket down. You know, Get your pussy and lick your dick. Whatever you want. Yeah. Seal that deal. That, I was, never, that was my move. Yeah. Imagine if you handled your significant other's business on a rooftop. They they'd have to pay for dinner for a week. Mm, Everywhere yeah. you go, yeah. I handled your business on a rooftop in Santa Monica, so. <laughs> <laughs> overlooking the entire San Fernando Valley. Every yeah. light you saw. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, mine used to just be I could cook. Be like, that's a good move. Hey, come, come over, over for dinner. Come yeah. over, I'll make you dinner. That's a confident move, Lisa, yeah. man. Hey, why don't you come over? I'll make you a uh, uh, pan roasted chicken with tarragon gravy. Ooh, Does that sound good? My go. move is like, hey, you can order whatever you want on E24. <laughs> <laughs> Take my yeah, phone. I'll leave your, I'll leave still your computer smooth. out. Yeah. Yeah. Still smooth. Uh, still smooth. Uh, I'll leave them is a little bit better. A little mm-hmm. bit. I mean, it, it's not smooth when you type in the coupon code. No. But <laughs> yeah. other than that. Which brings us smooth. to E24.com slash source of it. Seriously. I, no, I don't think I got to move. It's just more like. I got an extensive knowledge on superheroes I can talk about for about two hours. You want to hear that? And most people are like, hey, let's go to the room first. She (laughs) she slips on her own vagina juice. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to guess, tell me, say, oh. (laughs) Trying to get to the room to hear about it. Sloshy (laughs) vagina (laughs) juice. I'm glad two it took for this two. Line. When I would bring, when I would bring yeah. dudes up to the roof, they would slip on their own vagina juice. That's <laughs> true. So yeah. Yeah. That's a I danger. That's a hazard. Yeah, that's a hazard. You're on a roof. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Pre, you got that pre cum dripping. Everything. <laughs> oh, I no. gotta get a roof. It's real slick. I, that's I, what that is. I, I we should try to get on. Uh, on Everybody our roof, over there I'm is so scared. disgusted right now. I mean, what are you guys? It's true. Do not. Some of y'all have pussy juice over there. I don't. Some of y'all have pre cum. Part of this conversation. Sophia's. I, we didn't have to so say who there. was over there. No. We didn't What's have to say there? who was over there. It could be it. Star's over there too. What's All right, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I'm just putting myself stop into a deal. <laughs> Zach and Darren are there too. They are the ones yeah. with pre cum. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 I'm just uh, saying, yeah. So. Oh, moving man. on. Yeah, so um, end it, end it. Okay, end it. Yeah, we got we got a little more time. So, what was your fir- worst teacher? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I really did have oh one. Oh my god! I really did have one. Really? In seventh grade, I I didn't remember his name. You Dude, remember? I got the worst so much oh, yeah, on my I mind remember. right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember. I have. It was a science teacher who took science too seriously. Mm. Science is great. Science is literally everything. But to some seventh graders, botany. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was serious about his botany because that's what he had his degree in. I remember one time I had this friend Kevin. Oh, well, I haven't ooh, talked to him Kevin. in a couple years. No, Kevin, Kevin. was cool. We were uh, we were all talking because oh the the science teacher had to be a substitute uh, PE teacher. So he uh, me and Kevin were talking and all the kids were talking, but Kevin was talking too much and Kevin's using a quiet kid. Somehow he like picked Kevin up by the shirt and Kevin, but you're a kid, so you're like he's choking me, he's choking me. <laughs> and uh, that's the last time that uh, I ever fucked with that teacher. Never talked around he that. He picked teacher. a kid up by yeah. his mm-hmm. shirt. Mm-hmm. But dude, this was like 2007. You can do that shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, 2007 was a long time ago. It was a very long time. Ago. But not beat your kid in class mm-hmm. time. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. That was my least favorite teacher. Worst teacher, least favorite teacher. Uh, go somebody else. Go. All right, okay. I, I have, sorry. <laughs> so my second grade teacher. Uh, she was just notorious for being super mean, and she was the only teacher who ever gave me like a detention of any kind. And I was mortified because like back then mm-hmm. I was 
so like straight and narrow kind of kid. Like I, I, I said, excuse me when other kids burped. Mm -hmm. Like you know, told oh kids not to God. curse. Like my parents raised me in a fashion that was like I was such, I was such a little shit. And she put you in detention. And when you yeah. think about it, the kids that were in detention now are in jail. That's nah, <laughs> not <laughs> necessarily <laughs> around those kids. No, not all of them, but some of them. I no. was no. always in detention. You know, and we're not, waiting. I have not we're been arrested, but I am hopeful that it happens soon. <laughs> Do you know why I was in? detention i used to stretch my fingers like this and some kid saw me doing it and told her that i flipped her off and i didn't even know what that meant mm -hmm. and i was like flipping out she like <laughs> screamed at me and she she held me after school she wound up getting fired because there was a girl in our class who was a friend of mine who without her glasses she could barely see like she was like practically legally blind mm -hmm. and there was a fire drill and she lost her glasses and she couldn't find her way outside. Oh my God. And when the teacher came back in, she laid into her like she had like oh. killed a member of her own family, Damn. screaming at her. And of course, you, you know, remember? her parents, oh yeah, her parents went to uh, the administrator, got her fired, but she got another job in the same district. Oh. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Wow. Uh, but like, it, it's interesting that you said that. I just remember you said she held you after class, mm -hmm. probably 15 minutes. At the time, at the time it felt endless. That, yeah. <laughs> adults were like, they they're so much smarter than us. They're like, all right, I'm just gonna sit in the room with him for 15 minutes, and it's going to kill him. These days, I'd be like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> the older, because then you say someone told me the the older you get, the the faster time you perceive it. Because back then, you perceived minutes. more of it. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. I've had so many 15 minute periods that I can go through a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But as a kid, 15 minutes is all the kids are already home. There's, you can't trade jelly bellies behind the I'm, dumpster. I'm missing <laughs> Sailor Moon right now. You really are. Yeah. But these days, fuck it. Kelly yeah. has my damn snap bracelet. I got to go <laughs> get it. Now I got to wait till tomorrow to yeah. get it. <laughs> okay. So I, I think actually thinking through it, either I blocked out the worst ones, but I, overall I've either had okay or great teachers. And mm -hmm. like that's just pure luck yeah, for I had, what has that's happened. Most yeah, part, that's yeah. very lucky. It's pure luck. The worst was, and like he was even like, he was an amazing teacher, but I think he bent the rules a lot for a lot of things. He was my physics teacher. He was fucking rad. But he brought in suicide cables. Do you know what those are? No. It, what the it, fuck? They're illegal in California. It's when you plug in something to a socket and you have the cable that would go to a lamp, you say, but you would cut the cords and then you separate them so you just have two open wires attached to an entire city's worth of electricity in the wall. So he would plug those in. He's like, kids, we're going to just leave this on the table. Nobody touch it, okay? And he did one experiment once where he was like, who wants to feel what it's like to get shocked? And so we all, somebody was like, it was with a... White kid. Uh, it, yeah, basically it was a bunch of... It was like, no, all of us, we all joined hands, we grabbed hands, and then somebody uh, touched a metal faucet and the other person touched a tiny, tiny generator and it felt like we all got punched in the chest and he what said anyone fuck? with anyone with heart problems don't do this but like nobody he could have killed, he could have killed white an people. entire classroom full of children yeah, but absolutely. he's done it for years <laughs> and, and the fun. school knows and everything's fine and actually i learned the most from him he's one of the best teachers mm -hmm. i, I he's one of the greatest men i have ever met uh and he has one of the greatest stories like he he's english that's all i gotta say He's that incredible. He yeah, he's a great teacher. <laughs> what I say about y'all British motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. I love British. I love Doctor Who so much. <laughs> Three worst teacher, and we'll wrap it up. I had a bunch of terrible teachers, so I'm just going to tell you about an incident. Okay. That One incident. reminded me of the girl with the glasses. Mm -hmm. I was in kindergarten in Miss Bloom's class. She was a great teacher. She was sure. very sweet. However, she had a system called turning your card. Oh, yeah. Turning your card is when everybody at the beginning of the day has green cards. And if you get in trouble, she says, okay, turn your card. You go oh. and you turn it, and it's a yellow card. Not good, okay? <laughs> if she tells you to turn your card again, you have to go. It's a red card, and you have to go to the principal's office, okay? Oh, shit. This we was a that. nightmare. This was the scariest thing in the whole world. Because everybody has to watch you go. Everybody mm -hmm. has to watch and wait for you to turn your card and come sit back down. And, like, you have to try really hard not to cry because yeah. it's kindergarten. Isn't right? that crazy? <laughs> Kids are so simple. So simple. <laughs> One day, I asked Miss Bloom, can I please go to the bathroom? She said, okay. I was taking a fat shit. <laughs> so I was in there for a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? I come back in, and everybody's dead quiet. I walk in the door. Everyone's looking at me, and she goes, Bree, turn your card. And I go, what? <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> and so I do. And I cried. I just, like, uh, lost my shit in front of everyone. And I yeah. was just, like, <laughs> in front of the whole class. And I went home, and I told my mom what happened. She's like, 
you need to tell her you're taking a poop. <laughs> and I was like, okay. It, to this day. So my mom called in and then Miss Bloom apologized to me. Oh. And then she told everyone the next day that I didn't deserve to turn my card. Oh. Well, that's nice. Lesson, communication. <laughs> speak Always up. Comes first. Go tell her you think you went to elementary school together. Yeah. All you got to do is speak yeah. up. That's oh, you want to you hook up? Let around. her know. Yeah. Let her know exactly what you want to do. You don't need to move, okay? Yeah, every topic could be solved with communication. Exactly. I mean, what did she think I was doing? That she was like, "You were fooling around in the bathroom." What could a kindergartner yeah. be doing in the bathroom other than trying to go to the bathroom? No, flushing I shit. Flushing I remember shit. one of my most crazy <laughs> memories to me as my as a kid because I was a germaphobe. I only stopped being it recently. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened was like all the kids. It was we were in like the school that wasn't during school time. It was like over summer break or something. We were in school. It was, but my mom made me go to it because she likes to make kids do stuff in the summer. And I remember all the, they were like, <laughs> the teacher was like, "All right, everybody, uh, you five boys, go to the bathroom." Room, and I hated it. And we got in there, and these boys just started pissing on the ground. <laughs> and I hate the word piss, but these boys pissed on the fucking ground. And oh I was God. mad. Did you say that something? Happened. No. <laughs> okay, yeah. there was a kid at my school, and now that I say, like, what could a kindergarten be doing? There was this fucking kid, Joshy, who had a rat tail, and he was so little, and he was <laughs> a monster, and he kicked mm -hmm. one of our teachers in the shin. Hell no. You he imagine what he does do to his that. parents. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. If I had done that to a teacher, I wouldn't be on SourceFed today. <laughs> uh, my parents would have taken me home and thrown me away. <laughs> <laughs> so now we want to hear from you. What, who was your worst teacher, or what was the worst thing you ever did to a teacher? Let us know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the SourceFed podcast or listening to the SourceFed podcast. Continue to rate and review on iTunes. It really helps us out, and it, it lets us know that you're enjoying the show, and it also helps new people find the podcast on iTunes. Uh, and, of course, today sponsor squarespace.com big thank you to squarespace you know it, it, it just takes a minute to build a website you know eight dollars a month you can get your squarespace subscription and if you buy a full year you get a free domain name go to uh, squarespace.com slash sourcefed use the offer code sourcefed uh for 10 percent off your purchase okay and don't forget to check out nuclear family yes our mm -hmm. new sketch comedy that's channel. true yeah. squarespace you should nuclear family you any should. other any other plugs <laughs> <laughs> encourage sam tweet him and tell him to bring his shows back because he was doing great oh he's, he's coming back Great next work. week oh, oh right. and i got this new idea for a talk show all right oh. in another time no, 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 no. but yeah you're on the right track <laughs> okay cool. sam loves spoilers though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> will anything uh people be like youtube.com slash people be like go see it brie yeah nuclear family nuclear and family that's it and i'm doing oh, okay. a live show the she didn't text back live show february 20th open space cafe at two o'clock p.m february 20th <laughs> live show me and darren to be there doing our podcast <laughs> live. Come see. It's where, where is the open space cafe <laughs> open space oh i don't know uh, in los angeles somewhere okay in los angeles somewhere that's good and uh hey i'm putting up a video on my channel uh i think in like a week uh, that's all about the the Walking Dead, so you should check that out. There's gonna be a lot more TV stuff on my channel. Click Very like cool. on it. All yeah. right. Click the goddamn right. like button. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. I was gonna write a series of animated films about skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> like, sent him over the edge was KK. Yeah, he thought it was Kim Kardashian. Right? <laughs>